Should you cut off contact with family members just because they are voting for Donald Trump? Yes. That made me want to say a slur. Can I say it or no? James Charles is what you get when you mix abusing Adderall with abusing my ass. What is something weird about conservatives? There is a, almost a cultish vibe, I feel. The way they... And that hairline. It's all the way in the back. Like Rosa Parks, girl. I see you guys are fans. <laughs> Hit play, I guess. Did Donald Trump's makeup for this debate? Oh my god, me at 2016? What is this foundation color match and who is the makeup artist responsible? This is crazy. I know that I've had some very embarrassing foundation moments online before, is but this, this drugs? like puts flash with Barry to fucking this is shit, drugs, girl. right? What is going on? This man has bright pink undertones and they have literally slapped on a golden bright yellow foundation. Like, ah! What is this? You can literally tell where they just stopped. We've heard enough. His Shut him up. In his We've heard enough. I'm out. They didn't tell me they put that one in here. But to address the first demon, James Charles is what you get when you mix abusing Adderall with abusing my ass. Literally, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. How many years did he get caught doing that shit? With the minors? Two years? Three years? It's an annual event for this mother. Can I tell you some tea about him too? He's a out. You knew that one. Um, he tried to be my friend years ago. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, this was like in 2019, 2020, like that. And uh, he, he hit me up and he was like, we should hang out. You live in LA, blah, blah, blah. Give me your number. So I, I texted him. There was nothing really bad about him at that time. So I was like, whatever. And then I blocked, I blocked him and I ghosted him immediately because he made fun of the fact that I was texting him from an Android. He was like, why is your bubble green, bitch? And I was like, ew. <laughs> Just a random side note. What a, what a, what a um, bullet I dodged, right? Unlike those miners. Okay, this one, okay. <laughs> what is that Illuminati ass hand symbol? <laughs> he said, eh. Okay. Let's hear what this demonic goblin has to say. Hi, should you cut off contact with family members just because they are voting for Donald Trump? Yes. If so far they have not been able or willing to listen to compassion, to listen to kindness, to listen to you, or even to do their own research and discover that hatred's not the answer, that love and kindness is the answer. If they are unwilling to change, they must, they must experience consequences. Can I tell you some tea about him? He's a you knew that, you knew that. <laughs> But on some real shit, hatred's not the answer. Then why is that all that I feel for you, sir? That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling, and I'm gonna own that. I hate this mother I really do. Another literal, it's crazy how like it comes out as like a joke, like, oh yeah, he's a pedophile. He is. He straight up is. How many, how many also times has he been caught on Patreon with minors making videos about sex and having minors join his Patreon? Like, it's just fucking. Uh, oh my god and that hairline it's all the way in the back like Rosa Parks girl all the way in the back 
they did Rosa so dirty. Just like his hairdresser and his genetics. Next. Oh, it's Elmer Fudd. All right, hit play. I don't know if I'm like too sober for this or like not. They can't win. They cannot win. I mean, that is like we can't let them. They're, they're going to cheat. They're going to cheat. That's who and what they are, right? That's what's in their spirit. However, there's only a certain margin you can cheat. There's only a certain margin. And I really, I really do feel like we're going to win. I know we're going to win. I really do know that. That f I don't want to sound like a, a f transgender preacher up here, but th there is no reason other than we're going to win for that bullet to go like that. And, and just touch that ear ever so gently. There's just no reason other than that, right? But you can also, you know, if you want some more concrete evidence that we're going to win, we're up in voter registrations, we're up in all the swing states. And, and when Trump is down, he ends up being way higher in the polling or in the votes than he really is. It's always underestimating. But, you know, so we're going we're gonna to win so hard the cheating doesn't work. That's what's going to happen. Yes, yes, yes. They can keep California. They can keep it. It's fine. You did, you did the voter ID shit. Every person over the border can vote now. Cool. We don't even need California anymore. But Tennessee is staying red. Tennessee is staying red. <laughs> On my way to tell J.D. Vance to mind his own damn business. The mother who had a snitch hotline. Hi, my neighbors are talking to each other without masks in their home. Can you address that? That is some call me out. And that's why he went to China 35 times with the underage boys. Very much underage. Y'all know the age of consent in China? Anyone want to guess? 14. Just making an observation. Uh, so this mother... First of all, he can't tell J.D. Vance shit. Y'all saw that debate? J.D. Vance... That, that, was, that was an ass beating. <laughs> that was an ass beating. I hope to God, as someone who does debates quite frequently, y'all saw the clip, as someone who does debates, I hope to God I've never looked into a camera during a debate like this. <laughs> but that's how you know it's bad. That's how you know it's bad. And uh, in, in, in regards to Mr. J.D. Vance, as much as, you know, I appreciate that Trump is the wrecking ball we, we need right now, I need him to go in right now and really, like, get some revenge. Next time around, you know, 2028, if we can all heal, I think he very much represents kind of what we need. Like, he's very well-spoken, very well-tempered. If we can heal. If we can heal, it's J.D. Vance's time. If not, I, I guess DeSantis, I don't know. But, but right now, it's Trump's time, bitch, period. A few people come to these Q&As, and they're like, how do you feel about, you know, DeSantis? I know you kind of liked him in, in the primary, whatever. And I was like, when he was on the table, I was willing to hear him out. But, bitch, it's Trump's era still. It's, it's, this story is not over, bitch. This seltzer is hitting. <laughs> oh, and I actually know the next one. I put this one in. In, in case you want to see how hard he w minds his business, let's look at the state of Minneapolis, the wonder city that he is the governor of the state. Let's see the state of Minneapolis under his leadership. Mostly peaceful. You get the point, hell. Like I said, we're living in hell. We can pause it here, I think it goes on too long. It is, and I know we've all kind of memory hold that because it was a traumatic time for everyone, but do not forget, the demons on the f Democratic side of the ticket, you have him who let his cities burn, and you have Kamala who bailed them out of prison, yeah. set up a goddamn fund. So who the f is voting for somebody to, to help America, to heal America, to build America, who is on record, on camera, on paper, 
literally burning it down and and bailing out the people doing it. There's just no, there's just no like I don't give a f- about mean tweets. Sorry, they they burn the cities down. I just don't care. I don't care. You know, S- straight up, straight up. And they want you to pretend that didn't exist. And and part of the reason is that that time was so traumatic for all of us. We forget. Oh yeah, they really had us with circles on the floor. Step here. They really had us communicating with our fellow humans without showing our faces. The mental health crisis. For, for the children especially. The overdoses. Oh, church is closed. Liquor store is open. What is that? Sunlight's bad? Sunlight's bad. Vitamin D is bad. Ivermectin's bad. It's all, see, when you realize it's all an inversion, then you start to see the truth. You have to almost second guess yourself as like, wait, are they really all just saying the diametric opposite of what the truth is? Yes. It's the opposite. It's not halfway. There's not a lot of nuance. Some things maybe, but a lot of things like that, it's like, no, that's just the opposite. So they can't win. Like I said, like, please just don't let these bitches win. Let's hit, let's play this one. What is something weird about conservatives? There is a, almost a cultish vibe, I feel. The way they operate within themselves, they refuse to listen to outside people, you know, they're refusing to learn, essentially. I think that is a large part of it. That was giving school shooter. (laughs) Oh, it must be one of Tim Walz's friends. One of those school shooters he's fucking friends with. On some real sh- as much as like I'm scared of Camilla because she's just in fact a puppet with many hands inside her, I'm actually more afraid of Tim Walls. In a weird way, I'm like, I'm more afraid of Tim Walls being VP than I am of Camilla being president. It's just like scary. You have a guy shaking and looking like this over a debate and that guy's supposed to be, because you know, the VP has meetings with, with, with foreign adversaries. The, v- the VP has meetings with dictators. It was scary to watching him. I'm like, this is not leadership. This cannot be. So, f- him. What is this one? What's this one? You know how long it takes me sometimes when I'm filming these by myself and not with an audience to like hit play? Sometimes I'm just sitting there like, I can't. Oh my God. Okay. We put it off long enough. Hit play. I grew this so I wouldn't be perceived as a woman. And I grew these so I wouldn't be perceived as a man. And if that confuses or upsets you, mission complete. But if it doesn't, mission accomplished. (laughs) But isn't that the shit? This mother... It's just like a perfect microcosm of what I talk about on my channel. And again, I'm talking to the Blair White Army, so y'all know. This is like literally, the po- he's saying in his words that confusion is the point. Meanwhile, y'all are very aware if you're tuned into The Real by watching my show that with trans people, there was like social contract, social contract before to not cause confusion or disruption or, or pain or, or fear in public places. And now it's the opposite because this is a cross-dresser. It's a cross-dresser. It's a perverted man. It all, it all boils down to just horny men. It really does. The, the, the circle of pain in this world just boils down to a mother with a boner. Thank you. Love you. Uh, so that's disgusting. Get it off the screen. It. Ooh. I think I've seen this one before. You just know he's about to just drop some truth bombs. You can tell. You can tell. He's going to just make sense and (laughs) a lot of valuable things about to be said. Hit play. I'm going to be real and I don't give a what anybody say. Black children need to be separated from white children and any other race when it comes to education because no other race, especially white people, will tell the black person's history truthfully about where they come from, who they are, and what they are. The white person will only suppress the black person's history to maintain their genetic survival to bring about a new story that doesn't even exist. Oh my God. 
I know we talk a lot about the gender shit, but this is what's really tearing the country apart. This race shit. This fucking demented being so anti-racist that you're like, segregation's good. Bring that back. That's what the fuck was said. Starting a video with black children need to be separated from white children. Don't clip that out of context. <laughs> That's his demented words, not mine. And you see what the problem is. That this is seen as virtuous and the shit that we're talking about here in this room, we're, we're the Nazis. We're, we're, the, we're the bad guys, these are the good guys, right? Again, it's that inversion. It's just the opposite. It's not, it's not even halfway. You, you're either, huh? Well, it's so fitting because we may possibly, I don't believe she's going to win, but we may possibly have a DAI president. It's not right. And people want to get so shook when you say that. How, how, how is it bad to say that when Biden himself is on camera saying multiple times, I don't know who I'm going to pick, but I'm going to pick a black woman. She will be a black woman. And then in comes Kamala. And I guess that's questionable, right? <laughs> because again, this bitch has done every accent but a fucking Indian one. So I'm like, are you Indian? Are you black? I don't understand. And you can be many things, but again, find yourself, bitch. Camilla, wherever you are, find yourself, bitch. <laughs> find yourself at home after you're out of the White House. That would be my house in the future. It's already called the White House. Hello. <laughs> that's right. That's my last name. You know people all say that's racist? <laughs> I'm not kidding. It sounds crazy. There is a sizable amount of people in my, in my Twitter mentions and my replies all the time who are like, so if you're not racist, why would you name yourself Blair White? That's my real last name. <laughs> Came out the womb with that last name, but, but that's how you know how sick people are, that they just hear the word white and it's an issue, you know? Next, get this troglodyte off the screen. Ooh, more troglodytes. <laughs> a bigger troglodyte and a smaller one. Hit play. Your mom say you have to be LGBT. Um, no. no, I think she's what I want to be, but something. But on. go ahead, Lex. Go ahead, keep talking. Say what you're saying. Um, my mom doesn't matter if I'm up, if I am gay or lesbian or any of that. She doesn't care. All she cares about is that I'm a part of it. And if I'm not a part of it, she'll try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it. Cause I. What? Are you saying right now? Facts. That I would convince you to join what? The LGBTQIA plus community. I need to address white people. <laughs> Can I be real or do I have to be fake? This is a white problem. Be so f for real, my fellow, I'm 70% white. Be so f for real in this crowd, my fellow white people. That sounded like an Asian white people. But be so f for real, black people aren't falling for this shit. Making your kid LGBTQ for the sake of it, joining the LGBTQ. Hispanic people are not falling for that shit. It's a white problem, and I'm so sorry. We have to fix that from within, and I'll do 70% of the work because I'm 70% white. But for those of y'all that are hitting on 100, we got to do a little more. We got to do a little more. And you know why that is, right? White people are the only people that are not allowed to have an identity based on their race, based on being white. It's the only race that you, you can't be proud of that. You can't have an identity based around that. You can't talk about your own sh if you're white. White people. You gotta make a comeback. You gotta come back. Taking too many fells, white people, come back. Come back. And stop doing this shit. You don't have to be non-binary. You can just be a white person. And guess what? That's okay. That is so okay. She looks like, um, Muck. Y'all know that Pokemon Muck? The big sludge bit. And you know she regrets doing that live stream that kid gags her on live stream and I think he called her fat did I you guys hear that I think he was like fat I'm, I'm trying to be nice but she's making her kid gay I mean that's fucked up for real I didn't hear you so I, maybe I shouldn't agree with that but for real uh, <laughs> next 
hold on. Let me set this one up for you. I put this in one. I put this one in after I came back from Canada, because y'all know. Bless my soul. I did do a stop in Canada on this tour. But you know what? I have to say, I actually really liked Canada. The people. The people are nice. The people are lovely. The stereotype that they're nice is very true. And that's why they're being conquered. Because they're so nice. That's number one. It's the government that's just like California. You know, there's, there's lived out demons in California, but there's a lot of great people. I'm from there, right? So it can't be that bad. But this is a video. I, I was inspired to put it in after Canada because they have no guns. And there was people at the Q&A that were like, Blair, how do I defend myself? How do you recommend I like defend myself against all the violence happening in this country now? Because you know they have a little immigration problem, a little mixing of cultures that are having some issues, and people are being assaulted on the streets a lot. And they're like, we don't have guns, what do I do? And she said, pepper spray is even illegal. How demented is that? How demented? Pepper spray is illegal in Canada. And tasers. Y'all remember that, the taser? It was a moment. It was a moment. Did you guys see on X today, Jessica and Eve was like calling somebody the N-word? There's like a video of her like screaming the N-word. Him, it, whatever, but it's screaming the N-word. Different topic. We're going off on a tangent, whatever. I put this in because this is a PSA from the country of Finland. This is government. This is advice for the women of Finland who are complaining about migrant violence and being assaulted and raped on the streets. This is their advice on how you solve that. Stop! Don't touch me there! This is my no-no square! Stop! Don't touch me there! This is my no-no square! So, in case anyone's hard of hearing or doesn't understand, stupid. These said, stop, don't touch me there, this is my no-no square. <laughs> With a dance. And you know what an American says. Stop, don't touch me there, this is my block, bitch. <laughs> we gotta... We can't lose the guns. We can't lose the guns. When I was doing, and I will tell you from firsthand experience now being in Canada, it was my first time ever in Canada, and I'm like, they don't have freedom of speech. Am I going to get arrested like Tommy Robinson? Like, what's going on? All the people in the Q&A, which I know will not be the case here because Nashville motherfuckers are brave, the people in Canada, every th person in the Q&A almost started with, please don't put it on video. I'm scared I'm going to get in trouble with the government or lose my job, like that. And guess why? Because they don't have any fucking Guns. So the government can do whatever the f they want you if you don't have guns. And that's just, don't believe me, you're free to be wrong, open a history book. You know what I'm saying? Like, America is the last stand. America is the last stand. And a big part of that, the most important part of that in many ways, is these f guns. So learn how to load them, unlike Tim Walls. You can clap for guns. Yes, you can clap for guns. <laughs> this is my no-no square at the f Next. Another one, you can just tell it's going to be truth bombs before you hit play. Hit play so we can get played. I'm a folks therapist. Of course I want to hear about all the members of your polycule. I'm a folks therapist. Of course your emotional support dog, cat, bird, or reptile can come to session. And of course I'm going to want to know their names and pronouns. I'm a folks therapist. Of course I'm going to tell you how incredibly proud I am of you. A therapist. You go to this therapist, you come out with more problems. You go in with like, I have a little anxiety, a little depression, hard times at work. You come out with more issues. My God. What is a folks? What is a, does anyone know what a folks is? It's the lib word. Folks is already gender neutral. What? Oh my God, these people are weirds. <laughs> for people that want to control language so bad, perhaps you should understand it. The word folks is gender neutral. <laughs> Ew. Like I said, life is hard. It's harder when you're retired. <laughs> and this is a problem. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming.
Nashville, Tennessee.